dear students welcome to this session in today's session we are going to find the nature of the given quadratic form qf without reducing to canonical form that is without finding the eigen values how to find the nature from the quadratic form this is our topic in exam point of view they will ask you find the nature of the quadratic form without finding the eigen values let us see one by one now if i am taking a n cross n matrix a which is represented in the screen the quadratic form q f or q is said to be x transpose a x where x is nothing but x1 x2 x3 etc x n elements i am going to write d1 d1 is nothing but the first element i am going to take the determinant of it and we write a11 then d2 i am going to take the first two cross two data similarly d3 i am going to take three cross three it goes on for n cross n matrix finally we will get dn is nothing but determinant of the whole matrix a so since our concern is going to be a three cross three matrix d1 is this d2 is this and finally d3 is going to be determinant of a so the determinants d1 d2 d3 etc dn are called the principal minors of a <coughs> finding d1 d2 d3 etc dn from this we are going to say the nature of the quadratic form first we say when it is positive definite when i found d1 d2 d3 etc if all are greater than 0 that means d1 d2 d3 etc all are positive then i will say it as positive definite now negative definite means you should not get mislead as we did in the eigen values do you remember from the eigen values if all the eigen values are positive then we say positive definite if all are negative then we say negative definite from this you should not get mislead minus 1 power i di should be greater than 0 so that means when you put i odd numbers then it is going to be negative when you put i equal to even numbers then this minus 1 whole power i will become positive plus 1 when you put odd numbers it become minus 1 so d1 d3 d5 etc all should be negative and d2 d4 d6 of the problems are positive then i say it as negative definite for example i'll tell you if you have a 3 cross 3 matrix d1 d2 d3 can be found then d1 should be negative d3 should be negative and d2 should be positive if it is like this i'll say it as negative definite next positive semi definite as usual it is very obvious when all my dis should be greater than or equal to 0 with at least one di is 0 that means my d1 d2 d3 etc up to dn should be greater than or equal to 0 with at least that mean minimum one element of this di should be 0 where i varies from 1 to n then it is said to be positive semi definite similarly we are going to see what is mean by negative semi definite when i find d1 d2 d3 etc all my odd values should be negative and all my even values should be positive with at least one of the di should be zero that means minimum one di value should be zero then it is said to be negative semi definite so we see what is mean by positive definite negative definite positive semi definite negative semi definite finally we are going to see how to deal with indefinite whatever the cases comes which does not cover the previous data then it is going to be indefinite for example suppose d1 is positive d2 is negative this will never happen because positive definite or negative definite in both the cases d2 is always positive suppose now you are getting d2 is negative then 100% we can say it is indefinite similarly if d1 is negative as well as d2 is negative then also we can say it as 
indefinite. Next case, if D1 is positive, D2 is positive, then D3 can be 0 or positive. If all are positive, then I will say positive definite. If suppose D3 is 0, I can say it as positive semi definite. But here D1 positive, D2 positive, but D3 is negative. So both D1, D3 can be positive together or negative together. Now this is positive, this is negative. This will not happen for the previous cases. So it is going to be indefinite. Similarly, if D1 negative and D2 positive, D3 is also positive, then also indefinite. Hope you understand. Now you got a clear idea about the nature. So without finding the eigenvalues or canonical form, we can find the nature of the given quadratic form. Let us go into some examples. Okay, let us take a problem. Discuss the nature of the quadratic form. Whenever we say x, y, z, as I said in the problems, just take it as 1, 2, 3. Now enter the position. x square 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1, or you can take it as 1, 3. No issues. Now I am writing the matrix A. First the diagonal elements. 6, 3, 3. Then 1, 2 position we have minus 4. So I am writing minus 2, minus 2. Then 1, 3 position plus 4. So I am writing 2, 2. And in 2, 3 position minus 2. So I can write this as minus 1, minus 1. Now the matrix is ready. Let us find the determinant D1, D2, D3. Next let us find the principal minors D1 from the given matrix we see this is D1. Next we have to find D2. From the matrix, the first four elements are going to be my D2. When I expand this, I will be getting 14 that is greater than 0. Similarly now, for D3 I have to take the determinant. So we know how to do determinant. Just I am showing the results. So I am displaying, <coughs> we, know how to do, we know how to do the determinant. So, I am displaying the results directly. When I expand this, I am getting 32. So, D1 is 6 greater than 0. D2 is 14. That is greater than 0. D3 is 32. That is also greater than 0. If D1, D2, D3 all are positive, then I will say it as positive definite. Next problem. Discuss the nature of the quadratic form. This is going to be very easy. Since the quadratic form does not have any square term, all my diagonal entries are 0. Now see the position 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1. So we can take it as like 1, 2, 2, 3, 1, 3. All are same. So in all the position you see, we have the coefficients 2. So that means my whole matrix is going to be 1 other than the diagonal elements. It is going to be 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1. 0. This is my matrix. Next, we have to find the principal minors. D1 is going to be 0. D2, when I take this, it will become 0 minus 1, that is minus 1, negative. Then D3, when I expand, 0 into anything is 0, minus 1 into 0 minus 1, plus 1 into 1 minus 0. It is very easy to see that is going to be 1 plus 1, 2. Therefore, my D1 is 0, my D2 is negative and my D3 is positive. So, I don't want to worry because this is something different. My D2 is going to be negative. In all our cases, what we have seen, both D1, D3 can be positive or both D1, D3 can be negative. Then accordingly we speak about positive definite, negative definite. In all the cases, we speak that D2 is positive. So if D2 is negative, even we don't want to worry about what is our D3. Because if D2 is negative, we say it is 100% indefinite. So the given quadratic form is indefinite. Next problem, first let us write the matrix. It is going to be 10, 2, 5. Then I am going for the coefficients. Here 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 2, 3. This is 1, 3 or 3, 1 and 1, 2. Now the coefficient of 1, 2 position is minus 4. So I am taking minus 2, minus 2. Then 1, 3 position is minus 10, minus 5, minus 5. And finally 2, 3 position is plus 6, 3 and 
3. Next, we have to find the principal minor from the given matrix. So, the first element is 10. So, D1 is determinant of 10, it is 10. And many students will do the mistake. Suppose you are getting D1 is, the first element is minus 6. This is not modulus. Do you understand? In your school days, you may learn modulus. This is not modulus. Okay. This is determinant. So, for a single element, you will get the same element. Determinant of minus 6 is minus 6. Determinant of 10 is 10. Hope you understand. Next, you have to find the D2. Using this, 4 elements. Expanding this, I am getting 16. Next, we have to find D3. Find the determinant of this 3 cross 3 matrix. And it is very easy. You can do by yourself. And when I expand, I will be getting 0. So, my D1 is positive, D2 is positive and D3 is 0. So, there is some 0, at least one minimum. Remaining elements are non-zero. So, now I will say the nature is positive semi-definite. Hope you understand the problems. Subscribe, share and if you have any doubts, post in the comments. I will be replying you. Thank you. See you in the next video.